So a cheese board can add an elegant touch to your Oscar party. Here to show us how to put it all together is Chef Deborah Queen. Chef Queen, it's always nice to have you here. Hello, I'm so happy to be here. Uh, so tell us what you have here. This is beautiful. Oh, it's always uh, nice to walk into a party with a cheese table, I feel like. Yeah, it's really not complete unless you've got that to as a beginner. And you could do all different types. You can do, you know, just feature one uh, style of cheese or one country. Mm -hmm. um, and you can build it going from one soft cheese to a hard cheese. Well, where mean, do you, you know. start? Well, I say you should start with the soft cheese, the lighter goat cheese, and then progress through to the harder, firmer cheeses, you know, okay. um, the more piquant ones, and then finish with the blues. And there's a little saying, something old, something new, something stinky, something blue. I mean, <laughs> you know, you Is can that go how it goes? <laughs> or something strong, something blue. But, you know, you always, always put fruit with it. Um, you know, I kind of think outside the cheese board and not just grapes, but you know, you could do pears and uh, stone fruit is very popular and uh, nice tat apples are good. Okay. And so you always have to have that and then you always have to have some kind of crunch. And I used my little teacups today and I put some uh, crackers, popcorn, uh, these are sweet potato um, crisps. And then little French toast. That's I call just them. lovely. Yeah. Lovely, darling. About, yes. So, if you're putting one of these together, how many different cheeses, how many varieties typically should you have? Well, you should at least have four. Okay. I like to have five because I think presentations look better with uneven numbers. But you always want to, you know, put, I like to label them. As you see, I yeah, did so a couple of cheese the boards. This one is a, a really nice slate. Uh, board and it, ha you know, I bought this uh, little marcus separately, but you know, that way people know what they're eating. Mm -hmm. And you always want to have, you know, the right tools. So well, you know, which one goes with which? Uh, this would go with uh, any any of the semi semi firm. Okay. And uh, this is typically with a firm cheese because you chip out pieces of like a pecorino romano or parmesan or something like that. Okay. Um, you put them around the board. Um, like that, and then they just help themselves put it with the significant uh, one. I love uh, honey. I love something sweet. As you know, I do a lot of canning, my dear. <laughs> so uh, I just brought a little example today, uh, my fig jam, uh, a plum raspberry currant. Now, how would you serve that typically? Is it something you would dip the cheese um, in? I would usually it? put it in a little white dish or a little clear dish. I try to keep the themes the same. So if this was... Um, with the white markers, I'd put all white, you know, here, mm -hmm. and I would probably go with the clear uh, presentations over here. Now, I just did little small versions for sure. TV, but, you know, if you're doing a big grandiose affair, we actually build cheese boards on tiers, like on big tables for, wow. like, hundreds of people, and just put a wonderful variety of nuts and fruit and and crisps and breads and crackers. It almost always have a baguette or some kind of, you know, hard crusty bread. Um, you know, you can make a meal really with just a, a nice bread, a cheese, uh, some unsalted butter, and mm -hmm. some jam. Okay. It's wonderful. Uh, I also adore uh, honey, and mm -hmm. this is a really exceptional honey. It's a acacia honey. Oh. It's from the acacia tree, and it is so sweet and smooth and clear, and it's just such a nice complement to uh, the cheese. Always have some kind of nuts. Okay. I did my um, garlic uh, chili nuts. Uh, peanuts, and I kind of watch. I always ask, make sure there's no allergies in that respect. But and over here, I did my mixed um, sweet agave spicy nuts. Um, you also could just do something as simple as almonds, mm -hmm. and in this case, I put them in a little jigger, you know. And uh, you know, fruit, dried fruit is awesome. Okay. And this one is uh, different types of uh, raisins, which go well with fruit. Now, there's a lot to go that goes into choosing. A yes. Cheese. Yeah. How did you become an expert on it? Um, well, I don't know that I'm an expert, but I cer certainly have eaten my share. <laughs> is that <laughs> my what day. It is, trial and I error? think that helps a lot. Uh, but just, you know, studying and reading and tasting. And, you know, I highly recommend that you go to a cheese shop as opposed to a packaged cheese in the grocery store. Okay. And I'm not knocking grocery stores, but, uh, you know, they do have some very fine cheeses these days, I have to say. But you can get a taste mm -hmm. when you go to a cheese shop. Okay. You know, they'll give you a taste and you can actually see if you really it. like it before you get into it. Um, these kind of knives here are, are nice uh, because they have a little... Uh, swerve on the end where you can pick up the cheese after oh, you cut it. it. Okay. Yeah, and so you know you always want to think of what your implements are going to be, um, your accoutrements, sure. 
uh, if you know you don't want people just driving their hands into things, you yeah, always want to have like a little spoons Chef for people. Cream, we are going to revisit this at the end of the show. Okay. Thank you so much for bringing such a variety and Very uh, teaching nice. us about it. Yes, I'm so happy I could do it. All right, coming up next, who will take home Oscar Gold Movie Critic Drew Taylor gives us his picks when style returns. Don't go anywhere. Thank you.